And all he asked of us, oh yeah, is we give each other love. Love your mother, love your father, love your sister, love your brother, your brother. Don't go and talk. How many of y'all know that? Uh, it seems so simple. That all the universe asks of us is to love one another. <laughs> and y'all already know it's the hardest thing to do. You know? Um, because it's too much past. And then you begin to look to the future. And it, it's getting real hard to stay right in the now. So... It's hard to give each other love, especially when um, there's no accountability for some people who do egregious acts to the human family. They don't have to seem to take any responsibility or they don't seem to have to um, hold uh, uh, themselves accountable. For the evilness that they do. And it's amazing to me that, you know, self-hatred on the planet to me is, is just incredible. You have people of certain hues who wouldn't lift a finger to do something to somebody that don't look like them. But they'll reach all kinds of havoc, go to the end. Go under rocks and crevices and do all they can to kill somebody that looks just like them. And they relentless in their pursuit. They don't take no for answer. They be at it. Right? You ever wonder what kind of brainwashing that is? You ever wonder what kind of freaking thought that you got that's so twisted up in your mind that you see somebody doing something to you on a collective on a big scale and you do nothing. Nothing. But then you run through your community and wreak havoc. And in your family, wreak havoc. And act like a dictator and act like a damn tyrant. Amongst your family. And try to get power in a brutal way. I'm talking about this because, you know, I had a couple of things happen that I've just, I got to speak out because, you know, people are really sad and how we put ourselves in different boxes. And the first thing I want to say to anybody out there under the sound of my voice, don't let nobody tell you that you are not worth it. Don't let nobody tell you something is wrong with you because of how you feel, because of how you think. As long as your thoughts are not hurting anybody. Listen to what I'm saying. Now, if you're up here thinking about how can I kill sister so-and-so, or how can, I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about living your life 
the best of, you, of your ability. And maybe you have a, a proclivity or maybe you have um, a sexual um, desire that people don't understand and, and, and don't like. Okay, and then they try to out you or down you because of that. Don't accept that's 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 their problem. It's not yours. And I want to say this to you because there's a lot of people out here suffering because they got a crazy damn family, especially if they're a black family, when it comes to people being gay, when it comes to um issues that require sensitive conversation. As opposed to, oh, that's an agenda. And no son of mine going to be gay. And get the hell on out of my house. You people that perform like that, you need help more than you think your child needs help. Those of y'all who have talked about Dwayne Wade and Gabby Union, I've heard you. I, I Most of the times I, I sat back and I didn't say anything. I have my own personal views. Um... And I think that I can speak for the Wades when I say that they leaving their doors open and just trying to love and understand their child as best that they can. But for those of y'all who think everything is an agenda, you know, and that uh, nobody can procreate and all this kind of stuff, all of y'all are just so misinformed. So I got to start with this father. Who's a homophobic? Now I can talk. Is the time passed? He's a homophobic fag himself. That's what I consider this. Because this man was sentenced to two years in prison after he hired a hitman to break the fingers of his successful gay son. I mean, the unnamed 75 year old's rage began in 2017 when he saw pictures of his son, a well known surgeon in Turin with a male actor in the press. Earlier this year, the father hired two men to beat his son's partner. The assault left the young man in the hospital. The son had to change the locks on his doors repeatedly, and the two men never left the house without friends accompanying them. With the father even filed a frivolous lawsuit against the son, saying he had removed his teeth without permission. Things took a uh, more horrifying turn in May when the father tried to ruin his son's career by breaking his fingers only to have um, a, 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 a hitman turn on the father. My son is a thug. Break his fingers, the father reportedly told the hitman who was paid $2,500. Uh, after following the son and his partner for two weeks, the hitman realized that the father was lying. Although he slashed the son's tires, he came clean and told the son about the father's plans for him. And now the father was sentenced to uh, two years in prison. Um, you know, <laughs> this is insane. And I want to know for those of y'all, and, and here's another story. This is going to lead into the story that I'm talking about. This man is accused of killing his son for being gay. Um, uh, Melvin... Wendell Melton, who was arrested two years ago in connection with the death of his 14-year-old son, Giovanni, appeared in court. So he didn't give this young man a chance to mature. He didn't give him a chance to experience um, whatever transformation, whatever um, stage he was in in terms of his life, uh, in terms of sexuality. Um, he just... He just killed. He just killed him. Giovanni's mother, Veronica Melton, told the police that she believes that Wendell shot and killed her son because he was gay. When my son died, I died. 
I died that day. My heart was broken, said Veronica. Wendell has claimed that Giovanni's death was an accident, that an argument got physical, and that he didn't mean to pull the trigger. So why'd you have the gun on your 14-year-old? But Veronica said she believes Wendell was unwilling to accept Giovanni's identity. When I married him, he would make very disparaging remarks about people that were gay to me. And I knew that he was homophobic. And that's why. And nobody ever challenged him to find out what happened to him in his life to make him hate somebody so bad that never did anything to him. See, now I don't know about some of y'all because see, some of y'all live in denial. Just like you see a lot of transgender people getting killed. And I know a lot of y'all going to get mad at me about this video, but I really don't care because I'm going to do a live stream about it. That's how deep I'm going to get with it. Um, a little later on this evening, how about we do a live stream about it? If you bold enough. Because a lot of y'all men, first of all, let me say this. A lot of y'all men like to lay down with women, like Bruce Jenner, and then all of a sudden... You really like trans uh, 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 sexual men. You really like the, the the deviousness of the sex that you have with men. But you go home and lay down with your wife and pretend that you a masculine he-man. I know you. I know you get mad at a lot of people in, in, in show business because... They're so fluid, so fluid with sexuality. But there's a certain amount of openness that comes when you live your life vulnerable. There's a certain amount of openness that comes. But when you live your life suppressed, when you live your life in denial, when you live your life in lies, then you end up doing shit like this man did to his son. Veronica told KNT, KTNV that Giovanni came out to her two months before he died and that she thinks he told his father around the same time. Wendell's punk ass, who has been on house arrest since last year, faces charges of open murder, felony possession of a firearm by a prohibited person, and first degree felony child abuse. His wife believes that a hate crime enhancer should have been added to the list. Giovanni's former foster mother, Sonia Jones, at, uh, told the news at the time of his death that his father also threatened Giovanni with a gun in a separate incident after catching him with his boyfriend. He hated the fact that his son was gay, and I'm sure that inside his mind, he would have rather have a dead son than a gay son. And it's a lot of y'all out there feel like that. And I really want to know why. I really want to know why. Because I want to know what has happened to you that you would rather see somebody dead than to let them live they, who they are. Then I would like to know how much do you know about science? I don't want to hear the shit that you regurgitate from church. Okay. God made Adam and Eve and he didn't make Adam and Steve. I ain't trying to hear all that nuttiness. Okay. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. I ain't trying to hear it. What I want to know is what will make a fool chase down his own child or kill him because he cannot deal with his sexuality. You got a problem. The son didn't have a problem. I'm on this subject and it's only bad because there's a minister right here in the town that I'm in who saw his son dressed in drags. Is what we call it. He's a minister now. And he got so mad when he recognized his son that he got out the car pulled the car and started chasing them so he could beat them up and down the street. But the queen was fast and he didn't catch him. But he's not embarrassed about his behavior and he's supposed to be a man of the cloth. 
who died? Did God die and put you in charge of the sun, moon, and the stars and all this great shit? God died and left you in charge. Because if the sun can shine on Jeffrey Dahmer, who the hell do you think you are to kill somebody, beat somebody, break their fingers, and provoke all manners of verbal and physical and mental abuse because of who they love? You are sick. Ain't nothing wrong with them. Something is wrong with you. Now let's get to the bottom of what has transpired in your life. And let's deal with the repercussions, uh, the residue of what you feel behind that. So you can stop this walk of shame. Stop hiding in the byways and the low ways and having sex with transsexual men, then killing them. Giving them rides and stuff and having them perform all kinds of acts on you, then go home to your wives. Huh? Am I touching the nerve? Ooh. Uh oh. Are those of y'all who put yourselves in a position of God? And think you can judge somebody else. And the love and the hatred that you have for your son or anybody that's gay. Why don't you have it for your oppressor? Let me see you do something to him. I bet you won't do nothing. I bet you won't. I bet you don't. You're just going to sit there and talk that crap. And be a bully to your own damn people or somebody that you feel less that's less than you. Y'all some sick tickets. I don't believe in none of the stuff you're talking about. And all I know is you are very, you are a very underdeveloped human being. I wish a homophobic fucker would. Y'all can leave your comments below if you if you like what you're here, you can like, subscribe, and share. Or you can unlike and subscribe and share. But what I want to remind you to do is to hit the little bell on the notification. When you go to your notification there, I want to do a little housekeeping. Please hit the uh, all, and that way you will be notified um, whenever we do a video or go live or whatever. Um, so I appreciate that. And I want you to check your own uh, 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 thought process. And tell me, why do people get so up in arms about what other people do in their damn bedroom? What the hell business, business is it of yours? And, and, and one more thing. Especially, I want to hear from the men who say no other man should do whatever uh, that to another man in his rear end. Excuse me. But don't think that you shouldn't poke nobody back there. No woman either. Because the skin and the membrane is too thin. You need to find somewhere else, way else to get your pleasure off. But I want to know why you got such a problem with two men doing it, but you don't got no problem with somebody doing that to a woman and they and they behind. Because either one is very dangerous. The skin back there that you, the uh, uh, breaking back there is very, very thin. And therefore it makes it susceptible to diseases and things like that. Right? And if you didn't know, let me tell you that. So maybe you got to find some other way to get off because that one might be dangerous for men as well as women. And so especially for y'all who can't stand to see men do it, but want to plug your woman like that. Okay. Somebody might say something wrong with you. Okay. Because that ain't where it go. 
anyway. So with that being said, I'll see you in the next video. Let me see your comment. I'll, I'll, I, I'm open for your comments. See you in the next video.